So today I'm talking about a P0307 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0307 code? Well, it's a cylinder seven misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder inside of the engine needs to have the correct air and fuel ratio mixture going into it. And then at the right time, the spark plug is gonna send out a spark that ignites this air fuel ratio mixture, which is gonna create a small explosion, which is gonna send the piston down which is gonna turn the crank, and this is gonna keep the engine running. But when you get a misfire code, something's gone wrong with this. This small explosion is not happening for some reason, or it's happening sometimes and not other times, but there's some kind of issue going on, and so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And a P0307 code is gonna to point to the cylinder. If you were to get a P0301, that'd be number one cylinder, P0302, number two cylinder, and so on. And so if you go look up your cylinder locations, on your particular engine, since there is differences, and you locate the number seven cylinder, that's gonna be the one that's having the problem. And one thing to note about misfire codes is that if you're only getting a misfire code for one particular cylinder, then you only really need to go check the components on that cylinder. But if you're getting multiple misfire codes, then it could point to other things and other causes of what the problem is. So for example, if you were also getting like a P0300 code, a P0301, a P0302, or multiple other misfire codes, then that's gonna to point to something that would affect the whole engine. So in that scenario, that would be something like a bad fuel pump, a bad sensor, a vacuum leak, or something like that. But if you're only getting a P0307 code, then you only need to go check the components on cylinder number seven. So this would be things like the coil, the fuel injector, things like this. But if you are getting multiple misfire codes, then keep in mind that would be something that would affect the whole engine. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0307 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad spark plug or a bad spark plug wire going to the spark plug. It could be a bad coil on cylinder number seven. It could be a bad fuel injector. And if you have an older vehicle that has a distributor cap, then it could be a bad distributor cap. And it's also possible that there could be some type of mechanical problem. And this would be something like a bad valve or a bad head gasket or something like this. But that's not very common, but it is possible that there's a bad valve or a bad head gasket. And so how would you go about troubleshooting a P0307 code? Well, the main things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check for spark going to cylinder number seven, and that cylinder number seven is getting fuel. And so first thing to do is Google your engine and find out which cylinder is number seven on your particular vehicle, since there can be some differences. Basically, just Google your vehicle, your engine, and say like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and look at Google Images. And usually you can find a diagram of your engine and which cylinder is number seven. But the first thing to do is find cylinder number seven. Once you find out which cylinder is number seven, the next thing to do is to check out the coil and any spark plug wires that might be going to cylinder number seven. There can be different types of coils. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, different things like this but they basically all do the same thing. They're sending high voltage to the spark plug so that at the right time, it can ignite that air fuel ratio mixture. And so the first thing to go and do is to check out that coil and be sure that it's sending spark to cylinder number seven. And there's some different ways to go about doing this. If you have coils like this that are individual for every single cylinder, you can't swap them out with another cylinder that is working. So for example, you can swap it out with cylinder number eight. And if it follows and you've got like a P0308 code, then you know that coil's bad and you'd be able to replace it. There's also a real quick way to check to see if that cylinder is getting spark by using an inline spark tester tool. And these are real low cost tools, usually less than like $10, $15. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what I'm talking about. But basically one side goes to the spark plug and then the other side goes to the coil. And then you start at the vehicle and you should see a spark inside of here jumping. And if you do see a spark, then that cylinder is getting spark and you can move on to the next thing, which would be the fuel injector. But if you're not seeing no spark, then you know there's an issue and you got to troubleshoot it. Like I said, there's some different ways to go about checking for spark. But one of the first things you're going to do is check and be sure that you're getting spark going to cylinder number seven. If that cylinder is getting spark, then the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel injector. Again, there's some different ways to go about checking the fuel injector. Sometimes they can be easy to get to and you can swap them out with another cylinder and see if the problem follows. If you have a multimeter, you can also check them that way and test to be sure that it's working. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing the fuel injector. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with that fuel injector on cylinder number seven. And one thing to keep in mind when you are testing that fuel injector is be sure to check out the wiring because if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the fuel injector, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad fuel injector. But the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel injector. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0307 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.